Watch Doggy Doggy 2 is a sequel to the high anticipated Watch Dogs game from a couple of years ago, whose fame went down like you flushed it down the toilet after the release? Why you wonder? Well, it's marketing at its finest, I think. Anyway, this is a whole different story. From what I've played so far until the game crashed is like 2 or 3 hours, and the most interesting part so far was the very first 30 minutes or so. Basically, what you're seeing here is the footage from the very beginning of the game, because it's somewhat spoiler and uh, cutscene free, so don't worry I won't spoil the game for you. Alrighty then, why are we here to listen to me blab around about this game? We are here to improve performance on your lover and hardware. I'm Marcus, your host and welcome to yet another Lost Picks Experience optimization video. So basically first of all what you need to do is to simply download Lost Picks Experience from our website and then install it. Once you open it, this screen will pop up. Now press optimize and then select Watch Dogs 2 from this drop down menu and this raw installation file will load. Simply press browse and select the destination where your game has been installed. After you did that, uh, press install or extract, depends on what it says here. After you did that, uh, this control panel thingy should pop up. Now simply select the method of optimization do you want. I'll select uh, stock low specs optimization because uh, I don't really need much improvement to make the game a little more enjoyable because I'm already hitting the playable frames on this setup. But if we can get more FPS, why not? So after you select the method of optimization, simply select the resolution you want to run your game on. I'll go with the 1080p because this computer isn't really a low-end one, so it can keep the 1080p resolution at a fairly playable frame rate. Also to mention, the image quality is a lot better at 1080p for YouTube videos, so I'm not gonna lie. So after you select which resolution you want, simply press optimize and then follow instructions given here. So basically what you have to do is to start RestWitch file from your desktop and do that before you start the game. Some of the changes such as resolution will take place after 60 seconds in game, so that's the reason why you need RestWitch. Bear in mind that the RestWitch won't appear on your desktop if you don't have the Windows Smart Screen and UAC, basically user account control disabled. Be sure to watch the tutorial video on how to do it after you start the Lost Picks experience, so turn them off. So all in all, that's it pretty much. One more thing I want to show you before we jump straight into the game is how to restore your game to default settings. So simply go to Lost Picks experience and press restore default if you don't like the look of the graphics or the performance gains. Also, if you run into any problems while using Lost Picks Experience, make sure to contact me through the contact tab and I'll gladly answer all of your questions, usually under 24 hours. Anyway, enjoying what's left of this gameplay. Do like and subscribe if you found this useful, dislike it if you feel the complete opposite, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Ragnar's out, bye bye. Catch that? 